Well, look at these guys. In this tree and over on this uh, fallen one. I do not know what these are at all. I saw them earlier when they were younger. Um, and I presume these will change as they get older, but they're all up in this kind of rotting. I presume they are in part responsible for the rotting of this tree, which is a sugar maple. But yeah, I don't know what they are. They've got some really interesting shapes though. Look at that. It's almost like they're just like putty smushed up against the side. This one, I don't know, reminds me of a shell, you know? Kind of like, a, what are they called? Crown conch or something? I don't know, because of kind of that ruffle. I don't know, I'll put a picture there. You can see on these uh, right here, and in some of the younger ones when I was here earlier, put a picture in, uh, that it's kind of resinous. It almost looks like there's some sort of liquid um, coming out of it. See over on this one too, right in there. So I think that could be useful in the identification. And I'm gonna, I've decided that I'm going to take a sample. Um, I think I'm going to take this guy. Now I probably could just rip it out, but I want to be kind of gentle with it. Fine. Try and get some of the substrate with it. Alright, I think I should just be able to kind of... Ooh, it's softer than I expected. I'm going to get the ruler. Oh. I also don't want to toss this fungus up too much. Huh. And there we go. On this one though, it seems like there's obviously been some discoloration. If you can see about this one here, it's maybe been an hour or so. I can put over there what it looked like in the field, it's definitely softer. It has a very, eh, not very strong, but it definitely has a noticeable kind of fungusy kind of smell to it. So I think since this one's pretty soft, I'm going to cut it open. So I think I'm just going to kind of cut it in half along this crease. I think that should do it. Ooh, look at that. That's really cool. Alright, I'm going to nab some photos of that. I think this one is the resinous polypore, Iscoderma resinosum. I think this one's probably a younger one, given that it's still pretty close and tied up against the tree that it's growing out of. Um, but in some cases, it has been known never to kind of uh, form a cap, just to kind of have a poor surface all along the side of a tree. I also think it's young, given that it was pretty soft as it gets somewhat harder as it gets older. Uh, some of the identifying features were those little drops of resin or water that I saw on it and that I saw more of when I looked at that tree several days ago. Also the flesh bruised brown simply in the time in, in removing it from the tree and then the time to get back to my to, to where I could examine it further. That's uh, an indicator of this species um, and also the shape and color of it and how it rides up against the tree and doesn't form as distinct of a cap are somewhat specific to the resinous polypore. The resinous polypore decomposes the dead wood of hardwoods consistent with the identification of this tree or of this fungi on a sugar maple tree. 
Uh, it causes white rot, and we can see on that on the tree we found it that while the tree is still alive, the area in which those fungi are growing is not doing well, and that tree probably will not survive for all that much longer. And they can often grow in large clusters overlapping each other, kind of conforming to the structure on which they are growing which we saw in this tree as well, where there were kind of folds in the rotting wood, the fungi folded with it, and sometimes over and on top of each other. And although we saw many of them uh, out in the field today, it is also possible for them to grow alone or in much smaller groups. So them being in a large mass is not necessarily a necessary feature for identification. Resinous polypar is also known to grow on deciduous trees, which this one was found on. I found it growing on uh, sugar maple. Its season is generally September to October, um, which fits perfectly. It is the first of September, so that would make sense, having it be very young if it's just at the start of its usual season. So I feel fairly confident about this identification.